All right, I've repeated round six through nine. So I now have 13 rounds. The cuff, and it's gonna be a two by two double crochet post ribbing. And so we're gonna do round one. We're gonna slip stitch into the first chain four loop and chain three. So I'm just gonna do this, slip stitch into here, chain three. Now I'm going to double crochet in the same loop. I'm going to actually make three more double crochet in the same loop. Okay, this just like we're going to be doing a brick, you know, except for we're going to have all bricks. <laughs> three, four, you'll see what I mean in just a second. All right, now we're going to just make four double crochet in each chain four loop around and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three and we'll end up with 64 double crochet around. So just in every loop make four double crochet. And at this point if you're making the cotton hat with the brim, if you're making this one, you want to go a size hook smaller for this row, but for working with just the regular to make the rib cuff, you don't want to do that. And I am going to pause it here, and when I make it all the way around the hat, I will see you there. I've worked my way all the way around and now I'm going to just end with the slip stitch in the top of the turning chain three. I say turning chain, it's the beginning chain three. Right now we're going to work the back post and front post double crochet for the rib stitching. And we start off with a chain two. And now we're going to back post around the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, you go in behind the work and up between the chain and the first double crochet and then go around to the other side of that first double crochet and poke it back out, draw the loop through and up and then complete your double crochet. That's a back post double crochet and then we're going to front post around the next two stitches. So you yarn over and you go down into the right side of the stitch and up out of the left side of the stitch. Yarn over and drop a loop and complete your double crochet. And we're going to do two front posts just like so. Just like that. And now we're going to do two back posts double crochets. So go in from behind around the stitch, draw up the loop, and you make your double crochet. Do that twice. And now two front post double crochet. One, two. Okay, and you alternate front post, back post for two stitches all the way around. And I will see you when we get back to the other side. Done my two by two ribbing all the way around. And it says to slip stitch in the first stitch. So you don't slip stitch into the chain, you slip stitch into that first back post double crochet. Just like that. All right, now rows three through five, we're going to do the same thing we did for round two. So you're just gonna chain two and back post around the first one and front post around the next two. And you know where to do your front post and back post this time because you're gonna do the same stitch in the one below. So this one's a front post double crochet. 
going to make another front post double crochet into that one. And then this one's back post, so I know to go in the back post. Just like so. And work your front post and back post double crochets until you finish round five, and then we will resume the video. All right, I've done the five first five rounds of the cuff. And at this point here, you might think, it, oh, well, it looks finished. It's pretty nice. Well, if you like it like that, you're welcome to end it here and draw in the tails. But I have to tell you, there are holes here, see? And if you live anywhere it's windy, that air is going to go right through to your ears. So I decided to make the cuff so that you can turn it up and, and make it double thickness so that you can keep your ears warm. So what we're going to do now for turning up the cuff so that when it folds, the ribbing will rest in the grooves of the, of the ribbing here we're going to do opposite ribbing. So where you did back posts, we're going to do front posts. And so where you did front posts, we're going to do back posts. So for round six to 10, <clears throat> this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain two like normal, but this time we're going to front post <clears throat> around here and make our double crochet. Now these are front posts, so now I'm going to go back post. Just for this first round, you do the opposite. And then the rest of the rounds, you do it the same as the row below. So two back posts. And then where the back posts are, scoop around and do two front posts. So work your, your two back post, front post all the way around, and I'll meet you at the other end. All right, I've worked all my way around, and all we have to do is slip stitch into that first double crochet, not into the chain, but into the first double crochet, because that, we don't want that to be too tall there, so. And what we're doing is now our next round, we are going to work the same as the round below. Chain two, and since it's a front post, start with the front post. And this is actually round seven now. Back post, back post. And you work this until you have 10 rounds. So I will resume at the end of 10 rounds, and then what we're going to do is just draw in the tails. And what it is, is where you fold it is between five and six. See where they're opposite here? That's right where the fold is. So this will nest into that. And you fold it and it'll make it double thickness against wind and cold when you wear it. And then if you want to wear it like a slouchy hat on the back of your head, you can just have it unfolded and it'll be that much longer and give you more slouch. So I will see you when I get to the end of round 10. All right, I worked my way all the way around to the end of round 10. And before I slip stitch, I'm going to just go ahead and cut my yarn. Get this out of the way. pull that loop through and then I thread my yarn needle and I'm going to do my invisible magic sort of yarn tail hiding deal. <laughs> so what I'm going to do on this is, you know, normally you would run your yarn underneath the stitches going horizontally, but because our stretch is this way, and more than this way, you want to go perpendicular to the stretch. So you're going to draw your yarn in vertically through the stitches. I'm going to just bring it through right here first, and then I'm going to bring it over here. And you just hide your yarn 
going up and down. Okay, the tail, there we go. And then maybe bring it over to the next one and then go up and down this way. And this way your tails will have less chance of popping out when you put the hat on your head and it stretches this way. So I usually go two directions. Oh, there it's showing. You want to make sure you don't have it showing. We'll pull it back out and try it again. I guess it helps if you have part you're hiding it in facing you, huh? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's better. And then I'm just going to snip it off close to the work. And there it's hidden. And then all you do is you fold your brim in half like that. And like I said, the these will nest between the ribs there. And you have a nice thick brim. Your hat may look small, but it is very stretchy and it will fit an adult head. If you got your gauge right at the beginning, it should still fit a, an adult head. So I hope you enjoyed this project. For more projects, be sure to check out my website and my channel page. Happy crocheting!